A new executive order from the Trump administration caps the number of refugees nationwide. But in Massachusetts, Governor Charlie Baker says the state will continue to welcome refugees. Local immigration experts say the number of allowed refugees is too low and will impact the community. Our Chandler Walsh joins us in Worcester now with more. Chandler. Olivia, immigration attorney Randy Feldman says this executive order means funding and support won't be there for refugees and the organizations who support them. He says refugees provide work and culture, and this updated policy is a loss for the community. An executive order will make it more difficult for refugees to come into the country. This creates havoc here in Worcester, in Massachusetts, and nationwide. Last week, the Trump administration announced it will only allow 18,000 refugees the next fiscal year. It's a dramatic decline from 110,000 years ago. Immigration lawyer Randy Feldman says organizations who rely on federal funding to provide immigration services will see budget cuts, and many people seeking refuge will have nowhere to go. If they get lucky, they'll have other countries who will take them, or they will be out of luck and they will remain in, in different areas of the world, uh, living under terrible, horrible conditions. States must offer written consent to accept refugees under the new policy. The Baker administration will continue to welcome them in Massachusetts, saying in a statement, the administration remains committed to supporting the most vulnerable residents and creating opportunities for all to thrive. Catholic Charities of Worcester County offers citizenship classes and assists with family-based immigration applications. Casca Yao says they've had to close their resettlement agency because the number of allowed refugees is too low. Due to the reduction, refugees that were resettled by us and even by other agencies are now been affected because uh, they will not be able to uh, petition for their family uh, in those refugee camps. Yao came to the country as a refugee from Liberia and says immigrants like him are a big part of the community. They contribute a lot to, to the economy of this country. They work hard. They purchase homes, they pay taxes to the government. Feldman says the new cap means America won't be taking its fair share of the world's refugee problem. Really isn't increasing our humanity very much if we can't get ourselves to give more than that. At Catholic Charities, Casca Yao says he hopes the Trump administration reconsiders this order and turns around the refugee decline in the coming years. In Worcester, Chandler Walsh, Worcester News Tonight.